Hey shaving enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel for the next Shave America series. We're going to talk about South Dakota. You heard in the opening of the video the state song, Hail South Dakota. Now the Black Hill Mountains range is a famous area for its sculpted representations. Mount Rushmore National Memorial is a massive sculpture completed in 1941. The sculpture's roughly 60 feet high granite faces depict U.S. Presidents George Washington, Theodore Roosevelt, Thomas Jefferson, and Abraham Lincoln. Now, prior to Mount Rushmore, about 1931, there was another memorial that was honoring Crazy Horse, famed chief of the Aglala Lakota Native American tribe. Now, the project is still nowhere near complete. The idea was first raised by the chief and statesman Henry Standing Bear. Standing Bear spent more than two decades convincing Polish-American sculptor Korzek Zilkowski to undertake the project. Now, Zilkowski worked on the sculpture in 1947 and continued all the way through 1982, where he died on site of pancreatitis. Now, although there was no foreseeable end date, for Crazy Horse's memorial, it promises the superlative of world's largest sculpture with a planned height of 564 feet. The tallest sculpture standing today is the Spring Temple Buddha, which only reaches 420 feet. Now you may have heard of a city in Meade County called Sturgis. Well, it was founded in 1878, but the town was originally named Scooptown because many of the residents scooped up their pay from nearby Fort Meade. Its name was later changed to Sturgis in honor of the Civil War Union General Samuel D. Sturgis. The small town is notable as the location of one of the largest annual motorcycle events in the world. The 10-day event begins on the first Friday of August and attracts large numbers of motorcycle enthusiasts from around the world. Now, one hour away, in a tiny town of Wall, South Dakota, which only has 766 people, you'll find one colossal shopping center, Wall Drugstore. Now, Wall Drugstore has been called the largest drugstore in the world, though it is hardly just that. Operating under the Wall name and within the Wall walls, are gift shops, clothing stores, and restaurants. They also have active animatronics and a free of charge ice water well. And it is a frequent stop for those that visit Sturgis on their motorcycle rally. That is the opening of our state for South Dakota. The scents for the state are watery, lavender, and rosemary. I chose to go with lavender for today's shave. And we are going to stick with Sample September, and we are going to use the art of shaving. Now, we have a pre-shave oil, which I'm going to use. Here is the art of shaving lavender shave cream. And then we have a post-shave balm, which is also lavender, the art of shaving. This all came in a kit. It was a travel kit, so that's what we're going to use today. I have it whipped up inside my blue collapsible bowl, my travel bowl, and man, does this scent just pop. We're using the West Coast Shaving Beacon, Beacon Brush. <laughs> this is a synthetic, and uh, this really whipped up no problem whatsoever. In fact, it's been sitting here uh, since I've been talking to you guys, and uh, it's got a lot of staying power. The scent is just filling the bathroom, and there's no dissipation. I mean, this is just as fluffy as you can get of a lather. So, let's not waste any time. Just going to put a little bit of water 
on the face just a tad and then we're going to mix in some of this uh, pre-shave oil. And believe it or not, this is the first time that I'm using this lavender scent. In fact, we still have the cover on the, uh, on the oil. There we go. I have a few days of growth, so the oil will come in handy today. I got to, uh, I got to watch my football, as I spoke about after the last call. Bills in Miami. Bills played well. Got a real test this weekend. With the Rams, who, by the way, is my other favorite team. So, I can't lose. <laughs> I just root for both sides, and whoever wins, wins, you know? All right. There we go. Let's clear off the hands because got a little bit of oil on the hands now. Don't want the razor to slip out. But Sturgis, I'm a motorcycle rider and I never had a chance to go to Sturgis. I'm surprised that uh, there was a big fiasco this year because, you know, big bad bikers, they don't want to have to wear masks. They certainly don't like the government telling them what to do. Now, not all of them are like that, but you are going to find the heavy riders, uh, you know. And they're, they're out there, gangs. Uh, some of them with good intentions. Not all motorcycle riders are bad. In fact, I have plenty of upstanding friends and good citizens that ride motorcycles. All kinds, not just Harley either. There's Victories, Yamahas, Kawasaki's. Whole bunch. This is really nice. This lather goes on super. There we go. And we have lots. Well, we may have to do few passes today. Oh, by the way, we're using a uh, the MicroTouch 1 razor. Haven't used that in quite some time and inside is a blue Astra for the first time. Wow. Not too bad. Now a lot of the razors that I've been using recently don't have the overhang. Plus they haven't been twist to open with the barn doors. And this does have overhang, so I just have to remember that. But this is a mild razor. And this Astra is certainly doing very well. I talked about Telling if something is mild or not around the sensitive areas in my lips. You know, this is a sensitive area for me. And uh, this is a mild razor, I know that, but this Ostra Blade is really nice. This Ostra Blue is not aggressive at all. It has a nice even cut. It's just gliding right through. Now, it's got to help a little bit from the oil. And the Art of Shaving uh, Shave Cream is a real nice shave cream, but sometimes oil can be problematic because, you know, there is a residue left behind. And the art of shaving oils, if you use them, they are very thick shaving oils. So, there will be residue left behind. And I'll bet if I open up these doors on the razor, it's probably a little bit on the blade under the doors. So, it doesn't goop up to the point where it's impacting the shave. But it is nice and smooth. 
Now watch, I'll probably cut myself somewhere. Especially around the chin area here. Oh, yeah, must have had a little pimple. I didn't even feel it bite me, but I got a little nick right there. So that's what happens when you, uh, when you uh, don't shave for a while and your hair grows in and you start to get blemishes under the skin. I'm just going to open it up. Nope. There isn't really any collection. Now it does have a little bit of the stuff uh, because the Astra Blues, they do come in a, uh, in a wax paper wrapper, which actually, see now you can tell on the top of the head there, you could see the oil residue, right? So it did just fine. I'm going to let that soak in the water. Add a little water to the face. Yeah, real nice. Slick. Let's put a little bit more on. But that would be nice for me to go and visit Sturgis on the motorcycle. One of those uh, dream trips, I guess you could say. I don't want to stay for the whole 10 days. I just want to go say I was a part of it, you know, do some riding in the mountains. That would be real nice. Mount Rushmore, never been there. That'd be nice to see. I guess there's other uh, sculptures and stuff in the Black Hill Mountains. You know, uh, a lot of artist activity out there. Nothing really big or famous uh, to the extent of the Crazy Horse or um, Mount Rushmore itself, but they even talk about a little secret compartment behind Mount Rushmore and that's because the uh, the sculptor that passed away uh, was afraid that people would lose the meaning of what he was doing there so they developed a, a secret compartment uh, behind the sculpture which is not open for tourists you can't go and see it um, and they didn't finish it. He, he passed away before he had a chance to finish it, but after the um, uh, family had petitioned for so long, then they actually, uh, oh, you know what? I got to give you more facts about state South Dakota, but they petitioned and finally they were able to finish it. So let's bring up South Dakota and give you some more facts. Okay. Since 1991, Clark, South Dakota had hosted an annual celebration of potato. Regular festivities in the late August tradition included recipe competitions, potato decorating contests, potato car races, and the main attraction, mashed potato wrestling. <laughs> that looks like it would be a lot of fun. Get your uh, best bud and Give them a face full of potatoes. Now the Holy Terror would be a great name for a shaving soap. It refers to a now defunct gold mine in Keystone, South Dakota. Story has it that when William B. Franklin discovered the mine in 1891, he uphold the common practice of naming the mine after his wife. Through versions of the story, the general theme captures Franklin, a notorious drinker, would often find himself dragged home from the saloons by his angry wife, Jen. For his friend's amusement, he would refer to his wife as a holy terror. When the time came to brand his fine with her namesake, Franklin chose the nickname over the real name. The world's only corn palace lives in Mitchell, South Dakota where it serves as a concert venue, sports arena, and general community center. Living up to its name, the exterior of the 68-foot tall building is covered almost entirely with works of art made from corn and other grains. Every year, the building is stripped and replaced with a fresh batch of corn-based pieces. Here is your Corn Palace. Now, 
that's pretty cool to look at, but that's a lot of work, man. But they take pride in it. Why not? Okay, let's get to shaving. Pass two. Wow. Now you guys seen the amount of growth I had, but there is very, very little feedback. Even going the other way, there's nothing there. Either pass one was really effective, or this blade is doing a hell of a job. How many of you out there like the Astro Blues? It's my first time trying them. And uh, you know what? I may try them a lot more. You know, they say sometimes you get bad shaves in uh, lower priced razors because you just don't have the quality. Well, I bet you if I put this blade in my Black Beauty or some of my other pricier razors, I think it'll do the same thing. So sometimes you could tell a blade's ability by using it in what people may refer to as an everyday driver. That's not real expensive. You know what, guys? I'm thinking maybe a quick third pass is all I need. Because, man, there's just nothing left. Okay. Let's wrap up this shave and give you some more facts about South Dakota. If you drive down South Dakota's I-229 bridge at night towards Sioux Falls, 26th Street, you might catch a glimpse of a particularly unsettling scene a pair of ghost joggers that allegedly run the road every evening. No official explanation has ever been placed on record, but many have reported seeing this jogging duo. Now, the largest and best preserved Tyrannosaurus rex fossil in the world might never have been discovered if not for some well-timed car troubles just outside the hill city, South Dakota. Following a summer spent excavating the Cheyenne River Indian Reservation, a team of scientists suffered a flat tire on their drive out from the dig site. All but one headed into town to get help, the outlier being paleontologist Sue Hendrickson, who instead took to a nearby unexplored hill for a quick peek. There, she found the first pieces of what would ultimately become the only discovered T-Rex skeleton to breach 80% completion. The fossil, which lives today in the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago, is named Sue, in honor of Hendrickson's find. Here's a picture of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, Sue. You know, I'm from Buffalo, New York, and uh, a lot of people give us uh, grief during the wintertime because they say it's cold and it snows, you know, and then you got the people out in Alaska where it's really cold. You got Eskimos. Well, you know what? On the morning of January 22nd, 1943, Spearfish, South Dakota, experienced the fastest temperature change on record today in just two minutes the local temperature went from negative 4 Fahrenheit to 45 degrees. That's a 49 degree change. Now, those of you that do temperature in Celsius, well, that's negative 20, and it changed to 7 degrees Celsius, which is a 27 degree spike. That is a huge 
change in temperature where you're wearing um, you know layers upon layers of, of jackets and sweatshirts and you're freezing because it's in the negative temperatures and then all of a sudden it's 50 degrees <laughs> you're shedding your coat man you're putting a tank top and shorts on in that weather holy cow that's huge but man uh, we haven't experienced anything like that here, so <laughs> it gets cold. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It does get cold But nothing like that man When it's negative temperatures here, which isn't really all the time very rare And it's usually helped with the wind chill But when it does get into the negative temperatures, whoo It stays there for a little while And if you're on Lake Erie and the wind, you know, Lake Erie is connected to the Great Lakes. The weather pattern comes right over Michigan, comes across the top of the U.S., scoots just past the bottom of Canada, and then right into Buffalo. And that's where we get the weather. When the wind pattern is just so, it will soak up that condensation from the Great Lakes fly overhead and just dump it so man when that happens there's a lot of snow and it's cold all right let's go third pass there's a little feedback there that's good very smooth Switch the sides. Use both sides of the blade. Our way it wears evenly. And yeah, this gets under the nose real good. All right, we're gonna go at an angle, which is across. I always go across on the third pass. There's just nothing there. I am not feeling any uh, snugging, no feedback. Even though I nicked myself, I've gone over it multiple times and it's not bleeding real bad, so must have been just a little one. Yeah, a little nick here on the chin too. Alright. Let me do a quick rinse. We're back for the post. Hey, we're back. We got a quick rinse in. I didn't use any alum. Doesn't look like there's any weepers. Nice and smooth. Man, that is BBS. That did really well, that blade. I'm impressed with the Ostra Blues. Okay. So, let's do a quick hit of some toner. Of course, we're going to pull out the Thayer's Lavender Toner, since we're using lavender-scented theme today. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice. That sets the tone, no pun intended, for our aftershave balm. Here is the art of shaving aftershave balm. Put a little bit of that in the hand. Now this is not purple or anything, it's white, but it is sort of thick. So. Ooh, nice smelling. Mm. Wow, I think that that has more aroma than the soap does. Ooh, that's nice. That is very nice. Art of Shaving Balms are real good. Their sandalwood smells excellent too. Alright, rub the extra on the hands and that 
is our state shave for y'all. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for the South Dakota shave. Um, please give us a thumbs up if you like the video. If you're not a subscriber, please become a subscriber. We'd love to have you along for our journey and leave us some comments. We love to read them and I love to respond to them. Plus, you get to meet cool people like yourselves. And uh, I just love to hear what you have to say about this state or any other state that we've done a video for. So I hope that you'll join us for the next video, which will be coming out uh, in the near future. I don't know if we're going to do a state shave next, but we'll uh, have many more coming up because we're only about think just under half I think we're at 21 22 states something like that so we're not at the halfway point yet so we have lots more to do a lot more shaving soaps to share with you and a lot more tidbits for your travel or educational desire <laughs> thanks again we hope you have a good weekend coming up enjoy and we'll talk to you soon bye bye <laughs>